All right, so Megan Good. Megan Good was on um, Club, Shay, Club Shay. Shay Shay. And she just had a movie that came out. Um, mm-hmm. Divorce in the Black. Divorce in the Black. Mm-hmm. Did you see it? Yep. Yeah. I did. So, I saw it too. Mm-hmm. Um, did you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom. Like I that? mean, no, I, 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 was, I, I thought it was fine. I mm-hmm. thought it was fine. It was a good movie. I, I liked it. it I was, was good. You know, I thought she, she did good. She held her own. One thing I, I will say, and of course, you know, a lot of people give Tyler Flack Tyler Perry Flack for a lot of different reasons. I love the fact that he writes realistic dialogue because I'm like, that's what I would have done as a friend. That's what I would have done as a wife. I'm glad her father did that or said that. Like, the father? To me, that was realistic not like what are you doing you know you've yeah. been talking to the screen there yeah. were rare moments where i was like what are you doing i think the the father was really good to me yeah he was really good um what's his hardwick hardwick oh, Corey hardwick Corey. Mm-hmm. He, he did very well um mm-hmm. anyway so megan was pushing pushing the movie. movie we're not talking about the movie i was just yeah, asking i was just asking thought, that was an yeah. aside it was an aside so but megan was pushing the movie yeah, on, on this uh-huh. question she also talked a little bit about her faith i too. became a christian <laughs> And then I was like a Bible stomper and like super religious and very judgmental. I remember when my sister lost her virginity. I was 14, she was 16. I went to her, I was like, I just don't want you to go to hell. Like I was, I was that kid. None of my friends told me when they lost their virginity. Everyone's like, don't tell Megan, you know? Um, of course, I was the last to lose my virginity at 19. There's all these phases of getting to know God and maturing. As you get older, your prayers mature, your relationship with God matures. You start to get perspective and learn. Going through the divorce, that shook me to my core. I was just like, but Lord, you asked me to be celibate, and I was. You told me who to marry. I married that person. I try to do everything to the best of my ability, and and no, I didn't do everything perfect, but I don't know that I could have done anything different, if I'm being honest. Mm. And so I was just like, why is this happening? My greatest fear was for my husband to leave me after 10 years of marriage the way that my dad and my mom separated, and that's exactly what happened. And... It's just like, I don't understand this. At the time, I was so mad at Devon, but now I think what he did was very brave. And I think that it was a very scary thing to know that the church and all the people, everyone was going to be like, this is not what a man of God or a woman of God does, you know? (sighs) And of course, there were a lot of people who were like, Megan must have done something. And I'm like, what? But I think that's why we have to be very clear on having a relationship with God, not just a religion with God. We have to be very clear on hearing from God. And that's got to be the compass, period, the relationship with God. And not the relationship where you're not really hearing that and you just want to do what you want to do and you want a reason to do it or an excuse to do it, but really knowing if that's what you're hearing God to tell you to do, no matter what anybody thinks or anyone says, you got to move the way God's telling you to. And that's just that. All right. So what do you think about Megan Good on Club Shay Shay? Why is it right? Always look at me. <laughs> you know how this works, bro. No, 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 like, no, come no. on. We've been doing this for like mad years. You I'll know how it goes. In. I'll try Go ahead. I, I mean, first of all, I, I did. I watched a lot of her press interviews um, promoting the movie, quite honestly, because I wanted to see how she was doing. I know she has been really quiet since getting divorced, um, since starting to date uh, Jonathan Major. So, really, I was like trying to see what she was going to say about all that, if I'm honest. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, it really stuck out to me that she said her husband left her. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting interesting um but listening to those interviews um i do believe that she knows the lord or professes to know the lord and and and, and professes to be a christian and everything i think that there were and i I mean i could go all over the place because i really am trying to dissect this whole divorce piece quite honestly like really i and I, like I said, I could go all over the place, and a lot, a lot of people think Tyler chose both of them, Corey and her, because because, they're, divorced, because yeah. they're in real life divorce situations, um, which that's another divorce I'm dissecting. I'd be dissecting divorces like, what mm-hmm. happened, Lord? But all that to mm-hmm. say, um, I do believe that she professes to know the Lord and 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 is a Christian, um, but her it goes back to that whole conversation that y'all have had for weeks where people are like, my relationship with God is my relationship with God. I'm I'm going to live how I want to live. I'm going to do what I want to do. And prayerfully, I mean, at the end of the day, it has to be a personal conviction as far as why you make the decisions that you make, which I'm praying that, you know, she gets to, but I think she's been ridiculed and under the microscope for so long that that's just her stance where it's Mm -hmm. like, I'm going to do what I want to do, 
but I have a relationship with the Lord. So, um, but to your question was, do you think she's saved or what was your question? No, I didn't have a question. I, it's just more so you, you hit what mm -hmm. I heard from that thing. I heard it's it like, too. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, yeah. it's, um, you know, there's a theme today, yeah. right? We've been talking about themes <laughs> and the theme is people putting like a, a perceived rhema word from God above what the Bible says. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know, they're saying the right words like relationship yeah. with God or religion, yeah. things that we would say, yeah. right? But it's, it's almost like if I want to do it and I don't feel any kind of way about it with God, then it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, there, there, you have, leaders and and mm -hmm. you know disciples and people mm -hmm. to say yeah but that's not wise mm -hmm. you know yeah her her you know a lot of things she said throughout the rest of this interview conflicted with her yeah. faith journey yeah right? but she's decided that it's okay mm -hmm. for her mm -hmm. yeah it's like no, what well, you can't well, decide oh, things are okay for you if it goes against that what God may be the said. season she's in though honestly that's what i'm saying i feel like coming out of the divorce and everything and just being under the microscope that she's in i feel like that's the stance that she's taken so my prayer is that she doesn't stay there mm -hmm. but yeah. i think that's but why she, but in the interview she also did talk about you just can't do whatever you want to do she said that in this mm -hmm. clip yeah, yeah yeah she did um i think the thing is what was shocking to me was that she didn't want a divorce yeah. yeah, like it's. I told y'all, y'all, when this <laughs> when this happened, and I think there's bias on our team because we've actually interviewed Devon, Devon Franklin. Franklin. He yeah. was sitting in Ryan's chair, mm -hmm. um, but the immediate reaction when that happened was she must have did like she said she must have mm -hmm. did something how you know she, I knew she was wayward you know all this kind of stuff mm -hmm. like well, are y'all sure I don't, I don't know <laughs> but maybe well. it may, I think I think the thing is we don't know like we you don't. said we we really don't no. and I think our ex I think from our side was that. Um, because of that show Harlem because she was doing some crazy yeah, stuff on that doing, yeah, and some yeah, other yeah. stuff but y'all everybody and assumed that he that. was not okay with it I'm like I how do you know that I think he was I could be wrong but I don't think how he was. do you know that I, I mean it that. feels like it feels like as a man of God he he would be in in the conversation on the roles that she takes right mm. you know but at the same time so. she's not on the you know she's not on the roles are coming to her list yet so she's probably at the point where she's like, hey, if my agent got me an audition, I need to take this. No, this she, she talked about that, too. She said she yeah. turns down stuff all the time. Oh, yeah, okay. There's no problem with it. Well, I think, I, but, also, but also, too, what, what you're saying is real. It's like sometimes we automatically go to the person that we think are the most, the holiest yeah. between the two no. people and then go, you know what I mean? Because yeah. even no. using with Corey's situation, to me, mm -hmm. that's weird. Like him and Tia's situation is the weirdest one to me because yeah. I'm like, like unless he was doing something to you harming you when you was like i can't do this no more we understandable but then just to be like i wasn't happy so let me, it's time to go it's mm -hmm. like there's it's this recontextualizing of what marriage is is that you can wh whether it ends or not no big deal yeah. you know and i think they're trying to make the best of the bad situation yeah. mm -hmm. but you can't you can't rewrite what the bible says you know what i mean like yeah. it is yeah. not a good thing when a marriage ends there is something yeah. that went wrong mm -hmm. um unless it, of what adultery but, but even even, even that, that's still yeah. something going yeah. wrong like it's still mm -hmm. not a good thing yeah so i think she's trying to make the best of it but I, i'm just worried again about the mentality of mm -hmm. if i'm okay with it and god's okay with it then it's okay so but here's a question though and to 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 kind of defend her is like i didn't want this well he no he wanted it so what am i going to do yeah, i can't she, yeah. yeah but it's not about that it's about the choices she's making now it's like yeah. okay fine that wasn't your fault right yeah if that wasn't your fault that's fine but but what about like the cursing during the interview mm -hmm. and yeah. the, you know there was taking a lot, yeah. weird weird taking roles shots and <laughs> like i mean it's, it's just a lot well, of I stuff think, i think people in hollywood and i could be wrong i think and i can only speak for us because i only know us i don't know about white folks i think black hollywood <laughs> compartmentalize christianity if they're saved in hollywood then you know what i'm saying they yeah, thinking yeah, they like think. this is just my job like you a plumber or you yeah. it is it's not, I, I am not that person. I just act and that's it. But I'll they, say. And know, then I go to church and I really love Jesus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not, for them, it's not like, like, I'm. this is just the role I play in it. It's not that serious. Yeah. But Okay, so when Kel Mitchell was on that same seat, right? Mm -hmm. And he had a interview where, I mean, he didn't cuss, he didn't do it, all this and other stuff. Like, I think he didn't even drink, right? No, he, no. Whatever. He got so. Orange soda. Shouldn't oh, it be, so right, shouldn't okay, it be. Okay. Shouldn't it be almost um, contrast, like a, a parallel 
when she's sitting on that couch and she's saying that she's a believer and confesses the same thing. So I feel like a lot of times, and, and the one thing I will hone in on too is that she said that she didn't want her husband to leave her, right? People leave because people refuse to change. She you're could, still, but you're still coming from the point of view that this was her fault. No, I'm not saying it's her fault. I'm saying that maybe there's something that she didn't want to change, and that might be it's her, her fault. That's still, you're <laughs> still well, coming from the... Well, I, I, I'm just confused that people look at Devon Franklin and Megan Good, and their assumption is Devon Franklin is the holy one, and Megan Good is the unholy one that he had to put up with. But you kind of have to... I don't see that. Because of the way, the way his public other. appearance is and the way her public but, appearance but is. But when they were together... And people were complaining about what she was wearing. He defended her. He had to. No, he didn't. He did not have to he defend. He did have yeah, to. You, you can't leave your wife out there. Yeah, like yeah. That. but you. But you. Maybe saw, in you, private, you make. You correct saw that. him defend her, right? Yes. And your assumption is he's lying. Why? Are, why are we always assuming he's the? But that same dress minute, wait, who, is what she was lying? wearing before you, it was you're, married. You're thinking he's saying that just because he has to, because he's married. Why are we assuming he's the good one? Like, why is that the I assumption? Mean, in this situation, the woman was trying to correct her in public, and yeah. he was like, "We're not doing that. We we are not doing that." Okay, but so that's but right. your assumption is he also agrees with the lady. <laughs> and he's, no, and I didn't say that. <laughs> well, based off based that's off what, what you're, you're saying, saying with I'm the saying, divorce, I'm like, saying that there may be it didn't have to be anything of that nature. It could be the way she uh, cleans the house or something. Like things don't change, people want to leave, so it could but just that's be not anything. an excuse to for a Christian, right? No, but when you're talking about this Hollywood marriage, it, it's it's a whole lot different. The life, the the but the shelf life on a Hollywood marriage is a lot shorter. Ten years was good. I, I mean, I, <laughs> that I was mean, a good run. Put in a good ten. <laughs> it was a good run. Yeah. No, I mean, ten years though. I, I think that the the, the 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 thing to me, I see, is like, man, I hate it that she like really she wanted to be a curse breaker. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. she really didn't want that same mm-hmm. curse that her parents went through, she went through. Mm-hmm. Like, you could tell that that was a fear for her. And let me give you another one that's not so not so uh, obvious, right? What if he wanted to have kids and she didn't? I mean, that's been rumored to be a part of it. Right. She does want to. If you listen to the interview, yeah, she though, she, she does say she wants to have children. Maybe she wanted it with the right maybe, person. Maybe it's one of those. I'm not going to sit up here and, and <laughs> wipe their story. But I'm saying, maybe it's one of those when the time is right for her. It may and be, he may be thinking like, because I, I know somebody who, I know somebody who was like, I wanted kids in my the first five years of my marriage. Guess what? He didn't get it, so now he's married to somebody else and he has oh, kids. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. Yikes! That's okay. Yikes. Is, that, is that, kept, that okay though? She Are kept we saying that's the, okay? <laughs> Well, she kept pushing the timetable. She was like, I want to get my master's, then I want to get but, my doctorate. But now, are we saying that's okay in the confines of marriage? Like dating, I could see, okay, yeah. we dated five. But you're married. You're in covenant. Mm-hmm. So, On what side are you talking about, though? The man and the woman. The man's, I mean, whoever, whoever mm-hmm. filed the for divorce. I don't left, know. Yeah. yeah. So the conversation, I believe, was I want to have kids. I want to have kids, too, but when, it's, when it feels right for me, right? Yeah. And he was like, well... I want to have kids because we talked about having kids when we got married, mm-hmm. before we got married. So when it didn't happen. So he didn't want to wait. No, he didn't want to wait. So but are, she's asking, are, is that okay? Is that okay to move um, on because of that? Man, when, I mean, if it were the opposite situation and a woman's husband was like, I don't want to have kids until I get my whatever, whatever off the ground. Like if that woman has a clock in her and she's like, no, I need to have <laughs> I'm not going to pass judgment on the person that says that they don't want to do that. No, I'm just know. asking your opinion, though. Do you think that's okay? It wouldn't be for me. Okay. No, it wouldn't be for me. Okay. I I hear standards that's different, be it for Hollywood or anybody else. Mm. If you're talking about Christianity and mm-hmm. the true definition of it, then there's a even... You know, it's even across the board. Right. So either either the foundation is off mm-hmm. and you're building on shaky ground mm-hmm. and God really isn't the center of it. And you're deceived to think because of a Christian name tag or a few scriptures or a few attendance to church yeah. and some hallelujah cliches 
then you are, you know, you're starting off on the wrong foot. Mm. And so, and now you're surprised at the results because in covenant, which God created, you one-sided and it didn't come out your way. So, mm, mm. whether or not these these individuals with these divorces, they got to go back and rethink it. Because when you start putting God in the mix, then before you even got married, where was your relationship with God? Yeah. And yeah. then where was that person in relationship with God? And yeah. what was the purpose of you all even coming together? Yeah. Because if that foundation is rocky, then you started at a disadvantage anyway. The, the point is, is that there's forgiveness for all of this, but there's still a expectation, right? And there's a mm -hmm. biblical expectation that you, if you say, don't get up there if you don't mean no matter what, mm -hmm. right? Sure. And mm -hmm. if you say that, it should be no matter what. And the, the thing is, marriage is super duper hard. It's super hard. So anybody who gets divorced is completely understandable. It's like nobody's like, how could you? Like, no, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's hard, right? But we're still, we're just talking about what is expected of you as a Christian. Mm. It is still expected that so, you work it out. So if somebody's watching this, and let's say a young lady's watching this and she's in a bad marriage and she and her standards of bad marriage is he's cheating well he's, cheating then, then you're out you're, the door. Gotcha. Nah. you're done gotcha. yeah. okay. you don't have to like Jesus said that's he, he hates <laughs> the point the is fidelity. yeah nah. the point is is that God <laughs> hates divorce but or because abuse. of our yeah because of yeah. our sinfulness yeah. he allowed it right yeah. The sinfulness of a man who is not willing to cover his wife, like there, there's mm -hmm. there's an image of, um, I think it's, I can't, Malachi or somewhere, of, of uh, the images covering your wife mm -hmm. and then hitting her, mm. hitting the covering. It's like that, the abusing yeah. your role of protector. Mm. Yeah. No go with God, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheating on, breaking the covenant and yep. being with another woman. No go with God. You have the ability to forgive if you want to, mm -hmm. but you are no longer in a covenant. You got to rebuild that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if that's going on, there's nothing nothing said to yeah. you, right? Mm -hmm. But if somebody come to you and say, hey, man, I'm just not happy in this situation. She ain't doing the dishes. She ain't doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 she ain't cooking for me. That's, that's where the expectation is. You have to work it out. Yeah. God is expecting you. You decided to marry this person. If it is not one of those things that we just talked about, you are, you, your expectation is to figure it out. And again, if you had, if this is old news for you, this is already done. There's forgiveness. God yeah. can restore what the locust has yeah. eaten. He Amen. can repair the situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't take away the original standards. Yeah, right, right. Which that's is good. a high, and one. that's true. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely true. Mm. I mean, one hundred percent. Yeah. So, so that. for Megan Good, I, this is not to say that she's not a Christian or anything mm -hmm. like that. Right. A lot of people, um, you know, they may be the best Christians they know, you know, like, so she may be, I'm, I'm killing it out here, right? Yeah, so she kind of said that when she was like, to everybody I was, else. I, she's like, I was the last one to lose my virginity at 19. Yeah. Like, so it, she lost your, yeah. It, it, still, yeah. It could yeah. be a situation what? like that, but it's. <laughs> but you lost your virginity. <laughs> but you lost your virginity. She, she last. She, she last. said, yeah, that was like, she, she held on. In, in her but she mind, was comparing she was herself. She yeah. She was comparing yeah. herself to her friends and to, you know, instead of like the word of God is, you know. But that's what I keep saying. But that's what I keep going back to. Mm -hmm. the standard of Hollywood Christianity because it's like who is telling you to say we, we've seen remember we've seen that um, show with the pastors and the pastors were like well I gotta teach my daughter how to use a condom because just in case oh, she yeah. you know what I'm saying uh, like, again, but again that's that's again that goes back to the it's hard for a rich man to enter kingdom heaven because you're you're getting so many competing yeah, competing yeah. thoughts for your devotion right yeah. so Unfortunately, you're going to have to work harder than us. You're competing with a lot of yeah, other yeah, thoughts you in are. your brain. Yeah, you are. You have to fight them off. Yeah, it's yeah. not okay. But I also would say what makes it so hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God is because they need God less. Yeah. Because mm. our flesh tells us if we get these things mm -hmm. and yeah. all our needs are met, yeah. then somehow we become comfortable and familiar and we as christians if they don't get you if he, the enemy can't get you going down because we always the adversary doesn't yeah. go anywhere he's gonna get you going up yeah right. and it's even worse going up because the idea of needing god that's how come we have situations in our lives so we don't forget that we need god yeah. and to stay dependent on him mm -hmm. so a rich man yeah it's hard for him to get in why because flesh is looking at material things things on the earth mm -hmm. your spirit man if it's weak and your flesh is stronger than mm -hmm. your spirit man mm -hmm. then who's going to rule so if you're not 
if you're not strengthening your spirit, man, in the word of God to even know how to handle it, Abraham was wealthy. Right. But then look at Solomon. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he was the smartest. So that lets you know that every day you got to deal with the, your flesh because that is the falling part. That's yeah. why Christ did what he had to do because... You know the sacrifices that they did back then wasn't getting it. Yeah. So Christ came along because it had to be His blood that was untainted. Mm -hmm. So you know in terms of sin. So yeah, people in Hollywood has a heart because what was the motivation for all that you haven't achieved? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why you have people saying, "I got this, I got that," but still feel empty on the side because you didn't nurture that. You didn't nur you your spirit man was it was yeah. never meant for you to be separated from God and now that you have what you thought was going to make you happy but you still feel empty inside because your mm -hmm. spirit never got fed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think all that to say is that I am proud of Megan. She's she's making an awesome stand. She she constantly brings God back yeah. to the forefront. Yeah. yeah. That's this is coming thing. from a brother. If if I didn't if I was thinking that she's some devious person that's using God to get yeah. then I I'll be coming from a totally different angle. This is like if you were my sister and this was going on in your life this is what i would tell you mm -hmm. um so but it's it's encouragement it's not like i'm trying to call her out or anything yeah. so 